A few trucks still make it through the Iraqi-Jordanian border despite the violence on the other side of the crossing. It's become more difficult for Jordanians to get the paperwork they need to get into Iraq. They've been advised against travel there. But it is still possible to get a business visa and there are some people willing to try. I'm transporting fruit from Amman to Baghdad. I asked about the situation on the road and they told me it's deserted. Some cars on the side of the road are burned. It's scary. I rely on God. If they let me in, I'll go. If not, I'll return to Jordan. Food imports are essential to Iraq because it doesn't produce much of its own. But many businesses face logistical challenges, getting their products in by road because of the recent fighting. It is still possible to import from Turkey to the autonomous Kurdish region in the north and from Iran into the mainly Shia region in the east. This frozen food company was set up in Jordan by an Iraqi years ago. Now it exports to 20 countries in the region. Iraq is an important market. We are barely finding some uh, drivers uh, accepting going uh, to Iraq because uh, they feel they're threatened and the, uh, the roads now are not safe uh, there. And, uh, um, and uh, we're, we're trying to find some other routes to go to Iraq, may, may, maybe through Saudi and Kuwait. Iraqi truck drivers are hired to bring a vehicle into Jordan, fill it up with goods and return to the required part of Iraq. Once in Jordan, they head to an industrial area south of the capital, Amman, where many of the factories are based. This is the Sahab Industrial Park, where drivers come to pick up goods and bring them back to Iraq. Things like medical supplies, electronics, food and clothing. These roads are usually packed with trucks, but there aren't as many at the moment. These drivers are the hardy few willing to take the risky journey back through the treble border crossing and into parts of Iraq where the fighting continues. Some of the Iraqi drivers were willing to explain. One man from Anbar, a region in the west controlled by Sunni rebels, says he'll only drive within his region for now. Personally, I won't go to Baghdad. I'm from Anbar and I wouldn't go to Baghdad. It's been two months since I've been there. I would go to the south, but not Baghdad, as there's discrimination and they classify you as Sunni or Shia. So I won't go. Many of the drivers we spoke to would not appear on camera. But they said there are now unofficial checkpoints set up by local groups in western Anbar province. Armed men who asked to see their identity cards to prove if they are Sunni or Shia. If they are Sunni, they're allowed to pass through. If they're Shia, they are not. Caroline Malone, Al Jazeera, Sahab, Jordan.